moon phases. This is all stuff you're going to need to know in your head. The reverse table is not going to help you. Let's get started. So, uh, by moon phases, um, it's basically how moon, the moon looks to you at night when you look up at it from Earth. And here's an example of some of the moon phases uh, that you might see. And basically, so just as a little overview, you know, and this is not to scale. None of these pictures are to scale, just to let you know, because the sun is way bigger than that. So the sun is there and Earth is here and the moon is revolving around the Earth and the Earth is also revolving around the sun. So uh, just to give you a little overview of kind of what's going on here. So uh, if this is, a, this is a full moon, now one thing important for, for the moon to go through one full cycle of phases. So for us to see, if we see a full moon tonight, how long does it take for us to see the next full moon? And that is 29.5 days, the full moon cycle. Now, be careful. A complete cycle of phases is 29.5 days. It is not the period of revolution, 27.3 days. Unfortunately, now that is very confusing. I get it. If you're confused by that, it's understandable. Now, it gets complicated. It's because Earth is also moving. I'm not going to get into that. Just make sure that you know this. Because this is review, just kind of know that it's 29.5 days to uh, see a complete cycle of phases. So, now, this is what you often get and what stuff you need to know how to do. So, here we have the sun's rays coming this way. We're looking down at Earth uh, on the North Pole. And you see the moon at different positions during you know, uh, a month, let's say. What does the moon look like from Earth when it, it's at location D? What if that's the question? Sometimes it's multiple choice. It could be draw it in. It could be a lot of other things. So let's, being able to understand it and do it is really important. So this is the way that I teach how to do it. And since I started doing it this way, I found it to be very successful. So follow along. Watch this. First thing you do, if you're looking at D, draw a person directly under D, okay? Think of you're that person, you're kind of looking into the board like this. Now, also, you want to draw in a line that sort of designates what that person can see of the moon. They can only see the side facing them. The other side of the moon here is facing space. The person can't see it. So think of just this here, and then the question uh, that you want to ask is, the question you want to ask is, uh, when that person looks up, do they see the moon to be mostly lit? mostly dark, all dark, all lit, or half lit, half dark. I think looking at that, you'll see that the, uh, it is going to be mostly lit, and then you want to determine is it left side or right side that is lit and dark. And then you're going to see left side dark, right side lit, and the right side is mostly lit. So therefore, that moon phase, when it's at location D, uh, in its revolution around Earth, is going to look like this. Okay, there's a lot more review where this came from. Over four hours of review. Click the link in the click the link in the description. Is that right? Yeah, click the link in the description. Check it out. Let's do another one. So here we go. Let's do another. So let's say it's at B. Same basic idea. You're gonna draw in. The person there directly below it again you're looking into the board and uh, you're going to draw in the line that designates what they see and then you're going to say is a most is it uh, mostly lit mostly dark all dark all lit or half and half well it's mostly dark and the left side is dark mostly dark uh, left side dark right side lit and then this is maybe the hard part of how to draw that you always want to have it's like draw kind of a crescent shape um, and color on one side or the other, so it's going to look like that. Okay, that's important. Now, interestingly, the names of it—that's called the uh, waxing crescent. The names are not that important to know. It's how to do this. Oftentimes, you have to just draw them in, and those, you know that can be tricky. So that's why we—that's why we're doing a lot right here. Uh, and here's another one. Now, what changed here? Please note that now this diagram looks at it differently. The sun's coming this way. And, you know, everything is, this side is all lit up by the sun and this side is all dark. So that is, you see these diagrams come both ways. So got to be ready for it. Now, let's say it is at location two. And we're going to do the same thing. Draw the person in there. We're going to draw in the line that delineates what they see. They only see this. They don't see that. Then ask the question, when the person looks up, do they see it uh, mostly lit, mostly dark, all dark, all lit, or half lit and half dark? Well, it's mostly lit what they see and the right side dark or left side lit. So 
mostly lit, left side lit, mostly lit, left side lit, right side dark. Now, what would that look like? And it takes some thinking to really get that down and, and practice. It's going to look like this. Okay. And that's a waning gibbous moon, but uh, mostly lit, left side lit. Another one. So in this case, so let's say we want to, uh, what would the moon look like at position five? Draw the person in there, they look up. What do they see? Mostly, I mean, pretty much all dark, right? Not even mostly, all dark. Therefore, it would look like that, and that's called a new moon. Basically, it's no moon. You don't see a moon. The moon is out in the middle of the day, you don't see it, and at nighttime, you, there's no moon in the sky. New moon. And one more. So in this case, look, let's say we want to know what would the moon look like at position one. Draw in the person, draw on the line, what do they see? Pretty much all lit. And this is a familiar moon to you because it's a full moon and it's represented like this that represents the white. So that's a full moon. So I found that uh, once I started teaching uh, 12 years ago, drawing in the person and the line, that changed everything. And the kids who do it consistently... Uh, it really helps them. So I encourage you to do it. If you have a better way to do it that you've learned and it works for you, do that, definitely. All right? So moon phases.